Congressman, thank you so much for joining us today. I know you've been through a lot the last few days. Let's start with this. What conversations are underway right now about possible impeachment proceedings for President Trump? Because obviously we're less than two weeks away from Joe Biden taking office and there's not much time to actually make this happen. Yeah, one of the things I've learned in Washington is that when there's a will, there's a way. Uh, they can get it done, doesn't matter how much time. They can get it done in a few days. And they even talked about taking articles of impeachment directly to the floor of the House. And the reason why is that this was such an egregious act by the president, inciting an insurrection to go and stop the counting of the Electoral College votes to make Joe Biden and Kamala Harris the president and vice president of the United States. It was a direct attack on our democracy. And that's why not only did I call it uh, for immediate uh, removal of this president, but also most of my colleagues. And it is fast moving because there is another serious thing. He controls and he is the commander in chief of the United States Armed Forces. And we don't trust them in that position for another 12 days. So I want to ask you about some breaking news as well. Late today, Twitter just suspended President Trump's account permanently, as many had called for. But there are questions about limiting free speech on the Internet, especially since Trump is still the president. So do you think it was the right thing to do for Twitter to suspend him permanently? I actually called on Twitter to suspend it right after the, the siege on, on the Capitol. It is Trump who has been spreading lies about that the election was stolen. And that is what's agitating these, the, his followers. They actually think that he won and the Democrats stole this election from Donald Trump. And he is instigating them to come and take it back for him. He's doing it on Twitter. And that's why I actually called on him to uh, Twitter to not only suspend, but to delete his whole account. Um, he can go and still have a conversation. He can go have press conferences. It doesn't uh, stop him from that, uh, doing that. But it's actually harder when the press is right there holding the, him accountable for what he has to say. Yeah.